the tracker sheets were important um, for teachers and student use because it helps the students, first of all, to really focus in and keep that focus on what they're supposed to be working on um, at any given day, at any given moment. Um, on the tracker sheet, the students are able to set goals for themselves. Um, and they know that for each day they have certain goals that they have set and that if they're not working on those goals that's on the tracker sheet, then they are, you know, off task and they have to respond daily. Yes, they met their goals. No, they did not. And they have to explain to the teacher um, why they met those goals or, or why they did not meet those goals. And usually we do that during conferencing time. But if I'm not working with a small group, you know, at that moment, I can go around and kind of observe what's going on, take a glance and look at the tracker sheets and see who's actually filling them out with fidelity and kind of giving some reminders. Oh, looks like you didn't meet your goal yesterday. You might want to work hard on yesterday's goal and then you've got to double up for today or, or change your goals a little bit. Um, we collect the tracker sheets. So the teachers, we look through them to see, are they being filled out properly with fidelity? Are the students um, paying attention to what they're supposed to be working on? And I save mine. So when I do formal conferencing with students biweekly, um, I will pull those out and say, hey, this, these are your tracker sheets for the last two weeks. Let's talk about it. Or is there anything you would like to you know, show me on this tracker? How do you feel like you did? Or are there some areas where you might want to work on? Typically, the day before the sheets that the students do, I had them set their goals the day before. And I take them home, I look through them, and it's, it's a slight accountability piece on their part. So because it's kind of like, hey, remember what you said? Because I mean, at the same time, you got to remember developmentally they're eight, you know? So it's like, <laughs> I can set my goals for the week and remember them. They need to kind of, <laughs> it makes them look back at what they said. Um, and check in with me and then I can kind of see, okay, so who's going where and just have a feel for it, um, who's doing what. And it's the biggest part is that they can self-monitor. So, okay, you said what? What did you write on your sheet? It makes them remember because like I said, they're, well, my class is between like eight to 10 because I have second right. and third grade. Right. So for some, it's kind of like, oh yeah, what did I say yesterday that I was gonna do? And you'll be surprised. I mean, they go and do it because it's just a check in for me. And then also at the end of the week, I can look across that sheet of paper because I just write a little like symbol. So L, Lexia, SP, skills, practice. And then I can see, okay, you've been on Lexia three times this week because typically they can do it at their own pace, but I kind of want to see them hit each category on the sheet. So that allows me to also just kind of go through and sometimes have a personal conversation. Like I've noticed you haven't picked up a pencil this week. So, uh, you know, maybe come sit with me because something like she said might shy away from the writing portion of it. So sometimes I know that they need some support. So around Wednesday or Thursday, I go in and I'll just do like a little quick check because I could just look across my sheet and see exactly where they've been all week versus taking all of their sheets home and looking over them. So it's kind of like a organizational tool for me and also an accountability piece for them.